Porsche 3 ignition enabled. Firing in three, two, one. All torches are at full power. It's a black box equation, kind of in a sense that the outcome isn't guaranteed. Now that's some serious fallation. Do you see it? Do you see it exiting, escaping through the annulus? It is absolutely flying out. It's not. It's not a textbook math problem where there's a known formula and you if you plug in the right variables uh, it works in reality there is but that formula hasn't been identified yet we're trying to figure out the formula right we're trying to figure out the heat the airflow how do you how do you actually manage the board direction by controlling those uh, a lot of those parameters that pose of the machine and so on and so forth and i think we have a good team that's interested and able to figure those problems out. Yeah, so yesterday we had the one of the most important air compressors in the entire system, which supplies all of the air to the vortex and to the spoils evacuation ducts and to what we call the blasters, which help juice all of the collected spoils up in the air to be in the vortex. That air compressor went into limp mode and that sort of allowed this huge ball of spoils to sit there on the bottom of our hole and what ended up happening was that our bottom torch hit that and then all of the heat bounced straight back into the face of the machine and just melted a hole in it so it looks pretty dramatic but it's so far it seems like nothing is actually really broken and we have materials to repair the face and replace the face and we should we should just be good to go after this so just the fact that we are going to come back first thing in january and continue the boring operations to finish the bore as soon as you can, the full 10 meter length, I think that's exciting.